So, so think of it this way. Um, you, you're a factory, and you want to be able to spin up a new application, you know, not in 90 days, but in, say, four hours or 90 minutes even. Yeah, that impact your business, right? Or, or, or imagine, you know, you're trying to grow your business in some area, and you need to be able to grow a database quickly to be able to handle some new market demand. If you could spin that up instantly, that would impact your business. Or, or imagine if you could share more of your data with more of your users so that they could make better decisions. That would impact your business. Now imagine that all of those things that you wanted to be able to do, you suddenly realized you couldn't do because of backup. Because that new application, well, you've got to call three people to set up a backup, so it's not being spun up in, four, in 90 minutes. Or, you know, that, that, that database, you can't grow it because you're not going to be able to back it up in time. Or consolidating all your, all your data onto a NAS server so that it can be shared across your enterprise, you can't do that because there's no way to get your recoveries done in time. That's how backup can impact the velocity of your business. You could have been running 75 miles an hour down a freeway, and all of a sudden, you hit a big traffic jam. And that traffic jam is backup. So how do we impact the business? Well, that, that's sort of the negative side. There's the positive side to it, though, as well. Imagine that you could just expand your database or spin up a new application or consolidate all of your NAS data in one spot, and you didn't have to worry. That would be a way to actually make your business move faster. Because now, your time too, the time to bring up that new app or expand your business or share more data within your environment, that's not being limited by your backup. In fact, you're comfortable because your backup makes it easy to happen.